Londonist editor Matt Brown recently got to go on a behind-the-scenes tour of St Paul's Cathedral to see some parts of the amazing building which are rarely seen by the public. Our guide for the day was Oliver Corot, who immediately explained that there are so many parts of the cathedral that some are still unknown, even to him. I spent my first year every fortnight just deliberately going to find a bit of the cathedral that I hadn't found before. And in fact, our clerk of works found a room that no one knew existed. I haven't had that pleasure yet, but uh, maybe, maybe. Our first stop, though, was up the staircase, which you might recognise from Harry Potter films. But it took us to the clock room, just in time to hear the bells ring. You can still hear the hum, can't you, in the background? And then we took our first steps outside, onto the roof, and discovered some real London. That is 300 years of London. This is calcium carbonate, this is the stuff of limestone, mm. dissolved in sulfuric acid, mild acid rain, and redeposited here. But it's black because that is the coal mm. of London. Oliver and took us along a lot of thin, narrow corridors as we climbed higher and got up to something a little bit scary. So we're, we're above the choir here, so don't get worried, but you're all 130 <laughs> feet above the church floor. <laughs> the floor we're standing on, intricately designed and built by Wren, is just nine inches thick. And Oliver removed a peg to reveal a hole down into which you can see something quite amazing. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but there's a hole, and, and it goes straight down to the choir below, and we're right over the Book of Remembrance down there. I can see it. Here was us earlier, down on the floor of the cathedral, looking up at the same hole. And that was really frightening. I don't know if your camera can pick that up. There was still further to climb, and it involved going outside again, which meant we got some great views. Well, believe it or not, we're on the roof of St Paul's Cathedral. Not the dome roof, of course, but the, one of the lower roofs. But it's no less spectacular. You can see for miles. So we're up behind the saints and apostles on the, on the wall of the building. You might remember it from the Mary Poppins song, Feed the Birds. The, saints and apostles looking down on the bird woman. That's John the Baptist on the left. After which we climbed up yet more stairs and eventually got to the pièce de résistance. This door is really heavy so when you're ready I'm going to open it and then if you can dive through there's a set of steps right on the inside so just be careful. Okay, okay? I'm ready? a bit scared about this but it's... Oh it's fine. And on the other side of the door we found ourselves inside the dome of St Paul's Cathedral. This is scary when you think about what we stood on, what's below us, and you just have to put your faith in 400-year-old engineering. 300-year-old, but... Who's counting? <laughs> we call this ornamental gallery for <laughs> reasons lost in the middle of time. <laughs> But this was part of the tourist experience of London. You really? paid 4p to be able to come up here mm. in the 16th, 17th century. Mm. So um, this handrail was put in so that people could come up here and enjoy this remarkable experience. <laughs> I know you're really enjoying it, <laughs> of the view down, but also the scale of the building outside. Mm. 